Hey, this is Jennifer, and I just wanted to show you how I set up my staff survey at the end of the year so that I can get more detailed information from my staff. So I really hate to fill out a survey where half the questions don't apply to me, and I either have to check in A or write in I don't know or leave things blank. And so it doesn't give you the kinds of results that you need. So when I put my survey together for my teachers, I always start my survey with a question like this one. Did you bring your class to the library? Some of your staff is going to answer yes, and some of them are going to answer no. If I continued with the questions, then half the questions wouldn't apply to either group. If, I, if they answered no, I didn't come to the library, then all the questions about what resources did you use and how effective was your time, all of those would not apply to them. So I use what's called branching in Google Forms to separate my questions into groups based on how my teachers answer this first question. Now, to make this happen, you need to create different sections inside of your Google Form. So I just created a regular Google Form. My first question is a multiple choice. This also works in a drop down, um, but we're, and we're going to come back to setting that up in just a second. But we need to create sections where the first question will take our responders. So on this right hand side, I'm going to use the add section box. And my first section is going to be yes, I brought classes to the library. And then I can use the add button here to add questions for that section specifically. So you might ask about resources, you might ask about what time, how much time they spent, ways to improve. I'm going to add another section from that right hand menu. And this one's going to be called No. I did not bring classes to the library. And then this, these questions can be like, what prevented you? What things do you feel like could be added? How could the library better support what's happening in your classroom? Um, and on and on. So the questions can be specific to uh, the group that's filling out the survey. So now that we have our sections set up, we need to go back to that original question. And as mentioned before, it needs to be a multiple choice or a drop down so that there is one answer that's given. And I'm going to leave it multiple choice. And I'm going to come down by the required question toggle, which of course we want to turn on. And there are three buttons here, three little dots. And under this, one of my options is go to section based on answer. And that's what I'm going to select. And you'll see that this drop down opened that by each of my questions. And by default, it's just going to go to the next section in your survey. But when we select based on the answer, I get a drop down that lets me pick a different section. So the first question that if they answered yes to the first question, I want to connect that to the section called yes, I brought my classes. If they say no, I want to connect that to the section called no, I did not bring my classes. And so that is how we would set up the branching. So let's look at what that looks like in the preview mode. So this, the teachers would get the survey in their email, and the first question might be, did you bring your classes to the library? Well, if I select yes and then click next, notice it brings me to the section called yes, I brought classes, and then the relevant questions. If I had selected no, it would send me to the other section where those relevant questions could be included. I feel like this it is a great time saver for people doing the survey because I don't want to answer questions that have nothing to do with me. But as the person getting the responses and using them, it's much easier to look at your data and look at trends when you have it grouped by one major question like, did you come to the library or did you not come to the library? I hope you find this helpful. Look for some more tips on how I put my survey together uh, in the near future. Have a great day. If you want to learn more, visit my website at www.teachinnovatelearn.com.